We're starting off our 5,000 calorie journey with a classic New York City breakfast. What's up? Uh, can I get a bacon, egg, and cheese okay. on a sesame bagel? Do you have turkey bacon? Yeah, so instead of bacon, can you put turkey bacon? Now, if you're bulking, you're going to want to add bagels to your breakfast because it gets you the taste and the calories you are looking for. This ended up being 676 calories with 35 grams of protein with the avocado on the side. Now for this challenge, I was looking for easily digestible meals and the first thing that popped up into my mind was pancakes. There is so much you can do with pancake mix, it is almost unbeatable. Since you're mixing it with the ingredients, you could add anything you want into them, making your bulk easier. My personal go-to pancake recipe is preheating a large pan and spilling the entire pancake mix into it, forming a large pancake. Make sure to turn down the heat to cook the pancake evenly. To make this meal even more caloric and better tasting, add peanut butter and a banana. If you want to be extra, throw some syrup on it too. We end off my morning meal plan with an RX bar coming in at 220 calories. Now you know if we're eating so much food we have to burn some of it off with a calisthenics workout and today we're hitting chest, shoulders, and triceps. Let's get it. I'm gone, this is not a race. I just bust some racks in. I've been what's happening. It's just me, my guys, I'm got no rap friends. You ain't see the front but talking back games. Oh, I see the money, won't pick and roll, give and go. I see the money, won't pick and roll, give and go. I see the money, won't pick and roll, give and go. I see the money, won't pick and roll, give and go. Oh my god, three cars, five jobs. Slam door off the line. Shorty says she got the wop. I just want the wop. I can't, I can't, I don't think I can do it here. You guys should do that too. Before we leave. Okay. We're here for a minute now. Now Already got the crib, I think it's time to flood my wrist. But gets along her neck, I just iced out my chip. It's not what you know, but what you do with it. I do it the best, don't care if you did it. Stay down till I came up, now I'm too in it. Money, money in my sleep, I'm a To take advantage of this massive cheat meal day, I had to stop by one of my favorite pizza spots in Brooklyn, and that's Pizza Wagon. So man, uh, can, I, can I get uh, two slices? Extra cheese, please? Extra cheese? Yeah. Another banger of a meal that is loaded with calories is mix over rice from the halal food cart. And you know we had to hit up the Asian place for some classic. Uh, can I get chicken, chicken broccoli with white rice? Chicken broccoli, what size? Uh, medium, small. Small. Yeah. Now I have three amazing high calorie meals in front of me and to strategically plan which one I'm going to eat first, I started with the two extra cheese slices because of its digestibility and taste. Moving on to the halal mix over rice, honestly this is one of the best tasting meals you can buy. I'm telling you they put something in that white sauce that makes it unbeatable. Of course it matters which halal car you choose, so choose wisely. This has to come in anywhere over a thousand calories, from all the rice, the white sauce and the oily meats. At this point, my stomach is really starting to feel this heavy caloric surplus. Now for this next meal, I was extremely excited to eat because I haven't had chicken broccoli in about 6 months, but it let me down sadly. As I looked at the color and texture of the meat, I quickly came to realize that this was not chicken. I mean, God knows what it was. So I ate the only protein I had in my house, and that was my mom's pork, which was way cleaner, but this protein was extremely hard to digest, and it wasn't high in calories. So after this, my stomach was acting crazy. Daily update on the 5,000 calorie challenge. Sheet. Daily update on the 5,000 calorie 24 hour challenge. I'm realizing how difficult it really is to get a healthy amount of calories in a specific amount of surplus. So what I mean by that is if I have not bought these two extra slices of pizza or the mix over rice halal, I have nothing in my house that I can eat that will get me 5,000 calories without me having the feeling of 
growing up or exploding inside. Some people say you need a cheat day or a crazy caloric surplus day to psychologically stick to one diet or one fast, but I personally do not see any need for what I'm doing right now. I'm just seeing if my body could handle this 5,000 calorie surplus. Obviously, it's not doing too well, but I'm gonna stick throughout the whole day to see how I feel. It is about 5.52 right now, and I'm calculating my calories to come out to about, I, I hadn't hit 4,000 yet, which I'm shocked. I'm at 3,800 about. I couldn't eat that chicken broccoli because that was not chicken. I had to eat my mom's pork and that was super dense, high protein, very clean meat. So I'm even more full now. So I'm going to try and get these last 2000 calories somehow, but I don't have any unhealthy snacks in my house. So we have to figure out a solution. The solution always ends up being something sweet. Here we have a frozen acai bowl from Costco mixed with the granola some nuts and a fat spoonful of Nutella. At this point, I stopped counting the protein. Another little snack that appeared in the back of my fridge was a delicious Chobani Flip yogurt loaded with 220 easy calories. Last meal of the day, we had to dump the donuts. 460 calorie blueberry muffin. Accompanied with Caramel craze. 300 calories. My good. Five zero 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 calories. Please. Official review of the 5,000 calorie day. This shit was very tough, especially in the middle when I was eating the meat and the high protein stuff. I would suggest if you're doing a challenge like this, definitely eat shit food. Go with the sugars, go with the high calorie, high, high fats. It's way harder to do a clean 5,000 calorie challenge. If you can get a cleaner challenge than what I ate, definitely do what this uh, YouTube video. Send it to me and show me a cleaner 5,000 calorie diet you can hit. Try to start the day between 12 and 8, 9 p.m. Because I fasted in the morning because I worked out. With that being said, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. I live inside my own world of make-believe. Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities.